Well, it's uh, Wednesday. We're getting ready to head out. Been really, really foggy. Beaver just came by and brought me back the titanium scoop and picked up the uh, new Stava scoop with the uh, carbon fiber handle. He wants to give that a try. He was scared he was going to break this handle off. He's scared to death of this wooden handle. But this is a pretty tough handle. I don't know why he's scared of it. He's afraid he's going to snap it off. Anyway, we're switching scoops. I got the titanium today, and he's got the carbon fiber one. Stand by. I got to go pick up the chain man. No word from the guru. He's probably resting. Back to the gray matter. Beaver's already here. I haven't seen the guru. Today it'll be the titanium meets the gray matter. Mm. Well, we got two more coal ships from yesterday. Yeah. Wish I wore my boots now. You could have got in both of those slews. Damn, they look nice. We found a bunch of nice rings on them ones on the right hand side. 2008 or 9, I don't remember when. Beavers, these are already south. Looks pretty good here. The tide's, uh, the tide's just about low. It's coming in some, I'm sure. I see Beaver dug up a something giant something damn another hole here okay stand by looks really interesting I should wore my boots though rocks I like it. I like it. Whoop. Stand by. Titanium digs his first gray matter. Well, be working out here on this outer bar. There don't seem to be much out here at all. I haven't found not one target out here. Everything is concentrated right in there on that bank or up high where we worked yesterday at the cut. We haven't worked the cut yet this morning. We've been working down low. You can see there's no shortage of targets down low. But there's nothing like it is up above. We were just hoping to find something else, you know, down this way while the tide's still out a little bit. I got a dime, I think, and a nickel. I mean a penny. It's some gray matter. Oops. Okay, I'll get back to you. I got two dime, uh, well, a penny and a, two pennies and a dime and a lot of gray matter. Yeah, I got a, I got a penny. That's the only coin I got, and bunch of, bunch of sinkers. You know. <laughs> this all right in here. I mean, I'm just digging uh, all in one. Yeah. There's no shortage of lead. No, there isn't. But you would think there's got to be some, uh, some rings here. Unless there's just not many people swimming in this area, and it's, you know... Oh, there's got there here. We just ain't found them. Yeah. I mean, we found them here in the past. Just like at Bracely. You stumbled in the right spot, we just ain't stumbled there yet. Yeah. Beaver, he'd be, he be a four-story in a minute. <laughs> no, he's, he's way up there. He's in the state park now. He's in the, in the virgin territory, I guess. Yeah. All right, let's get at it. All right. There's some stuff down by the edge, too. Yeah. A lot I, of trash down there, though. Yeah, I know. 
about uh, 20 minutes ago I stopped digging high sounds and I've dropped back to digging low sounds only. I've got a pull tab. Uh, this nickel just popped up and small lead comes in low so I got a couple pieces of small lead. But I'm going to leave all the high stuff alone. Here comes Doc Beaver. All right, Mr. Nautical. What does this thing go to? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Piece of a ship. How are you making up? Um, I found a, uh, I hit the lows down here. I saw you guys had already gotten most of this stuff, but I went in the, I went in the water back and forth here a little bit. Nothing in the water, but there was some stuff. Yeah, some we things, hunted the edge when we first got edge, here. But I did, I found a, uh, I found a thimble. Oh, Thim a thimble, thimble man, that's nice. I found some thimbles on this beach. That's why I call it Thimble yep. Beach. Man, that's a nice taquito right there. That's the only cool thing I've seen today. Well, I'm not sure what this is. One, yeah. That's a penny that's pretty crapped up. Yeah, but I'm got, not sure I got it's a couple good. of them. I'm not sure if that's aluminum or. Uh, I got a dog tag. Else. And then that's an old bullet. Bullet, I think. yeah. So. Danny's digging lead. We yeah, both uh -oh. quit digging high tones. We're just digging low tones now. It's, uh, it was, I went, uh, actually, wherever they stopped, him and Kenny, wherever he and Kenny stopped yesterday, I picked up from there. The cut ends just right where those stairs yeah. are. That's where it ends. But that whole area in front of it, that was all just full of lead and uh, a couple of coins. But, but the, uh, the stuff that I found, the, the thimble was... I'm working the mid-beach. Danny's working up high. He was working right on the edge. The shallow. Targets everywhere. That's about it. I'm headed back. Alright, I'm with you. Not as much stuff down here though. No. Definitely not. And there isn't much in the water. No. Just some trash. You see a thimble you see a thimble he got? Yeah, I saw it. That's nice. Yeah, it is. Grass. That's, old. That's the second one of those I got. I got another one out here last year or a while ago. I thought too there'd be some. You think that, is that for the carnival? You think it's yeah. one of the prizes carnival. for the carnival? Yeah. I mean, I didn't know that till a couple years ago when yeah. we found out what it was. You know, we were finding the vibe. I see a ring in the scoop. Titanium, I think tungsten carbide. Some kind of crap ass ring. I know that. Stand by, let's see where that is. Come out of there, you taquito. I'm saying tungsten. Shiny. See if I can see anything inside this nice comfort fit piece of crap. Oops, there goes the neighborhood. Come back here. Stand by a minute. If I can get you to shut off, you jackass, and he's no good piece of... It's like a bluish... Tungsten, baby! Well, that's a big one, man. That's <laughs> God. Damn. Pretty. Look at that. Oh, it looks good on you, Max. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm getting ready for the roundup. It's in the afternoon. Jack's outside waiting for me to come play ball. I got the stuff drying off from washing off with the hose. We'll get to that in a few minutes. So I got a package, a nice package I know. I talked to this fellow the other day, he told me he was going to send it to me. Long ago. I mean, not in the, uh, if I had to guess, that's all I'm going to be doing is guessing on the date. I had another junior. I bought one of them juniors when they first came out when it was called a 70. You know, my lab came out with a 30, a 50, and a 70. Well, I bought one. And I used it for six or seven months. In the first day I used it, I never will forget it in the summertime, I found a gold ring on the, on the mid beach with it. Damn. Anyway, after a while or so, I sold it to a fella in uh, Georgia, a relic hunter. I think he had one or had another model one. I can't remember which. 
but he uh, he wanted it, so of course he bought it. And uh, damn, Jesus, monster! You won't believe what's in this box. Stand by. Anyway, I'll show you what's in the box in a minute. Um, the name is Roy Thompson. And of course, I never heard from Roy Thompson ever again until one day last week. And he called me on the phone. He says, Mac, you don't know who I am and don't remember me, but I uh, I got something I want to give you. I said, okay. He said, I know you're having trouble with that camera cutting on and off, that ZX5. He says, I got one I never use, so I'm going to send it to you. I said, okay, I like the sound of it. I appreciate it. So here, he said it's only been used two or three times. It's hard to do this with one hand. You see the junk. Come out of that. There it is. It's a nice black one, too. I'm going to get rid of that orange ticket. Stick it in the drawer for emergencies. Okay, Roy, thank you. Now on the telephone, while we were talking, he said, I also got some knives in there I'm going to send you. I said, okay. Man, look at this one. This says handmade 1948 Roanoke, Virginia. Hmm. Look at that. You don't see many of these around anymore. I've done several of these uh, Vietnam vintage, vintage ones. Made in Germany. Leather case and all. It's got to be an old one. That's a nice ticket right there. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Hmm. I can put them right into action today. Uh oh. And this looks like from a distance a dive knife. I had one of these when I was a younger kind of guy. Stand by. Let's get that baby out of there. Yes, sir. Stainless steel, Japan. It's a nice dive knife. I've never seen one quite like this. She's sharp too. Now I think he said something about he wanted me to add them to my collection. But I'm going to have to call him up and get a verification on that. If he wants me to keep them or just sharpen them and send them back to him. Before I go get too excited. But I think that's what he said. Add them to your collection. Man, I'm telling you, this is this is a nice collection he's got here. This is a handmade one. You can see it's got a little tarnish on it. I puffed that up tomorrow while I'm at the knife gig on Thursday. I can't go hunting for gray matter tomorrow. I got a good knife gig. I get her cleaned up and sharp. Oh my God, she don't hardly need sharpening though. Good gracious. He's like a razor. Them carbon, carbon steel knives before they get sharp. Okay, let's take a look at this old Puma. Yeah, man. I may carry this knife on my belt the whole time. I've been wanting a knife like this. She's sharp too. Well, she needs a little cleanup. She's kind of raggedy looking, you see. From being used all the time and sharpened on something hard on her. I know I'll be slow tomorrow, so I get her buffed up. Boy, she's really, I don't know who's sharpened them for him. And if he's sharpened them or whoever sharpened them, but I can tell you one thing you don't want to lay it down near anything that you're worried about. Man, alive, it's like a razor blade. Both the knives are. Hmm. Okay. Now, get back to the roundup in a minute. Thank you, Roy. You're a gentleman and a scholar. Okay, <clears throat> there's a roundup. That's about an hour's worth of lead. I stopped digging lead. We hunted about three hours, maybe three hours and a half. After two hours, I mean, after one hour, I stopped digging all the high sounds I knew were lead. Unless it was like three inches or less. Then I dig it. The tungsten ring came up uh, 1229. I got ready not to dig it, but it was only one inch deep. I said, well, that'd be a little shallow sinker. 
1229 tungsten. Dog tag. Zipper. Mostly lead. Uh, six pennies, two dimes, two nickels, and one meager quarter. Something else I was going to tell you. What was it? I don't remember. Beaver got the best of it with that thimble. That nice old thimble. Mm. Okay. See you in a little while. Nice gig tomorrow. <laughs> come on, come on. I know you gotta have them. They're new balls. <laughs> circus train dog. That's right. Circus train. <laughs> Tell him you're a circus train dog. <laughs> That's right. Circus train. Good gracious, you're a circus train dog. Ah, circus train. Look at him. Mm.